Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to teach you how to make cold brew coffee. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free whole food plant-based cooking show. So today we're talking about cold brew. Because through this process of being stuck at home, you know, if you're anything like me, I love to go out and get a, co a coffee from the local coffee place. You know, Starbucks happens to be here. We don't have a whole, whole lot of little local coffee shops anymore. But I love that special treat. And since we can't really go out and do that right now, I'm going to show you how to make some cold brew at home. Very simple, very easy, a lot more cost effective for sure. You're going to save a lot of money doing this. So I start with, this is just some coffee beans that I got from Aldi, and it just happens to be fair trade, all that good stuff, organic, I love it. Um, and I like the medium uh, roast bean. The type of bean is completely up to you. The darker roast is of course going to give you the more strong, a little bit more bitter taste, and the blonder, the lighter the roast, it's going to give you a milder flavored coffee. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a pretty decent sized jar, one that can hold about four cups. Uh, this is a two quart jar. Really you could get by with just a one quart, quart jar. Four cups of filtered water. Um, one cup of coffee beans. You're going to need a strainer of some type. And I just have a filter, a coffee filter. You could use cheesecloth or a, a dishcloth that's got a little bit of a wider uh, weave to it just to strain the coffee grounds after you're done. Um, and then another container or a jar to keep it in the refrigerator with a lid on. So we're just gonna get started. I've already taken a cup of these in here and put them in my grinder. And most grinders have a setting where you can set it to uh, really fine or really coarse. You want it on the most coarse that it will grind. Uh, so I already have that set and I'm gonna whir some up here. Yeah, surely we have enough. All right, so you wanna put that first into your jar. So I'm gonna put this in my, make sure I've got one cup here. Okay, and then we need to get it into your jar, which is a little bit messy, but here, let me get a spoon. So I don't make a huge mess here. And some of the theory behind uh, drinking cold brew is that it makes your coffee less acidic, that it's healthier for you, but it's just about the flavor for me. And since it is getting a bit warmer outside, having a hot coffee in the afternoon is a little less attractive. I really want an iced coffee, so I'm going to make this, and then it's already made ahead of time. You've got it in the refrigerator. Uh, so we're going to pour our four cups of water in there. And then just stir it around a little bit, make sure those beans get down under the water. And then I'm just going to put the lid on. And then I'm just going to leave it on the counter overnight. And just one, one tip is that you don't want to leave it for more than, say, 15 hours. So, you know, overnight, 8 to 10 hours is about perfect. So we're just going to leave this sit out, out overnight. And then I'll show you what the next step is. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is a crowdfunded show, which means our content is made possible by the generous patronage of our paid membership community, who share our common goal to teach the world how to easily and permanently switch to a plant-based diet. My husband and I create these free weekly cooking shows to share all of the delicious recipes that we use every day in our own family kitchen. 
Our recipes are now used by hundreds of thousands of viewers every month from all over the world. Our paid memberships offer additional perks like access to our eBooks and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. With meal plans, shopping guides, daily learning materials, and over 65 of our favorite recipes. If you love our content and find it's helping you to live your best plant-based life, please join us on our mission to share this life-changing message with the world and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. It is the continued growth of our supporting member community that makes this show possible. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so this is soaked overnight. And you see how nice and rich and dark that is? Beautiful. Now we're just gonna carefully pour it over this guy. You wanna hold on to that paper so it doesn't go flying. Just let that all drip down into there. And while you're waiting for that to drip out, you can go get your jar. Make sure you have that ready so you can pour this into the jar to get it into the fridge. Okay, so it's finally drained out. Now I can put this into our jar. And it still needs to be a jar that can hold about four cups. It's gonna be less than four cups, but it's still close. And so now we get to enjoy it. I'll meet you over at the table and we're gonna taste this coffee. Hey guys, so we have our cold brew. It's been in the refrigerator for a few hours, so it's nice and cold. I'm gonna have myself a cup. So this is concentrated, okay? So it's concentrated coffee. So you don't need quite as much. So I'm gonna do like about a half cup there. And I like mine a little bit flavored. So I have some peppermint flavor and some chocolate extract because I love peppermint mochas. Oh my goodness. But this is definitely a way to cut down on that sugar that they usually, it's usually a sugar syrup, right? And these don't have that in there. So I'm just gonna put just a teeny bit because a little goes a long way. And I'll give you the link in the details below where I got these. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add some milk, some almond milk. I've just got some unsweetened almond milk here because I don't really like the whole really sweet coffees, but you can use whatever plant milk you like. Look at that. Oh, swirly goodness. That is beautiful. Just gonna swirl it around a little bit. Mmm, that is beautiful. Mmm, that is delicious. You know what would go really good with this? My stuffed date recipe. That would be so excellent. I'll also give you a link. You need to check that show out. Have yourself a cup of this cold brew. Mm, you're gonna love it. And I'll see you next time.